So far, we've been studying this thing called buoyant force. And buoyant force is equal to the mass density of the fluid times the volume of the fluid that's been displaced times the gravitational constant. Uh, constant. So this is kind of our definition of what a buoyant force is up to this point. Now, how can we use this buoyant force and the known knowledge of some object that's fully submerged inside of a body of liquid or, or fluid and determine if that object will sink or float or just stay still where it's put. So that's what I want to study in this video. And so far we've been just looking at very simple objects of uniform mass density. So like a block of wood or a block of steel or a block of ice. And for most of those objects, the force that that object or the weight of that object, which I will call F sub G, is equal to the mass density of that object times the volume of that object times the gravitational constant. Now, if we know that the object is fully submerged inside of this liquid, we know that the volume of the object is going to equal the volume of the fluid that's displaced. So in other words, V naught is going to equal VF, and that's just going to be volume. But what about objects that are not uniform? So let's say a scuba diver uh, went inside of a body of water. So you had some body of water here, and this is a very poorly drawn body of water. And let's say me, I was a scuba diver, and I, oh dear, uh, that's my scuba tank of oxygen gas. That's me, I'm smiling. And this scuba diver is obviously not a uniform object, right? The bones inside of my body have one mass density, and that mass density is different from my muscle. The muscle has different mass density than my skin. The skin has different mass density than the clothing that I'm wearing, uh, plus all the scuba tank and the scuba gear. They're all varying in different mass density. So how can we figure out with this mass density of me uh, floating in this body of water or submerged in this body of water is and how do we use that value to determine if I sink or swim or I stay where I'm at. So for these compound objects like myself, we define something called the average mass density and that is simply the mass of that object divided by the total volume of that object. So this mass right here is going to be the total mass of me. So that's going to be the mass of my body, the mass of my equipment, and the mass of whatever oxygen that I'm carrying inside of the scuba tank. And this V naught value is going to be, well, it's going to be the total volume that myself, my scuba suit, my scuba tank all occupy. And if we take those two values and we divide them, mass divided by volume, we get this average mass density. And this average mass density is what we can compare to the density of the fluid that we're displacing to figure out if I float to the top or I sink to the bottom or I stay still. So in other words, what we're really doing is we're comparing the buoyant force, which is mass of the fluid times the volume of the fluid displaced times gravity. And we're comparing that to, well, the mass density of me, which is this average mass density of all the stuff that I have on me plus myself times the volume of me times the gravitational constant. Now if I'm fully submerged, if I'm fully submerged in this body of water then we know that the volume of the fluid displaced is equal to uh, the volume of me and that's just equal to volume. In other words this V here is going to be equal to this V here and the gravitational constants are both the same. So what we're really doing is we're comparing this mass density of the fluid to the mass density of me. So how do I know what sinks or swims, or not sinks or swims, but what sinks to the uh, bottom, what floats to the top, or what just stays still inside of that uh, body of water? Well, if we kind of drew a simplified container here, and this thing was filled with some fluid, so this is, really just a simplified uh, diagram of this, then I could just model myself as some object here in the middle. 
And on this object, I know that there's going to be a buoyant force acting upwards. And then the weight of me is gonna have a force that's acting downward. So I'll just call that my mass times gravity, my weight. And if we look back to this comparison over here, if we see that the uh, mass density of the fluid is greater than the mass density of me, the average mass density, then we know that the magnitude of the buoyant force is going to be greater than the mass uh, times gravity, the weight of me. So in this case, if F sub B or FB is greater than uh, compared to this diagram, this F sub B value is gonna pull this object up. So I'm actually gonna float in this case. Now, what happens if I sink? Well, if the mass density of the fluid is less than the mass density of the person, which is me, the average mass density of me, and I know that the buoyant force is going to be less than my weight. So I'm actually gonna be more dense than the fluid itself, and therefore this force right here is going to be greater than the buoyant force acting up. So I'm going to go downwards. So in this case, I'm going to sink. So this is the case where I sink, which is not good. This is the case where I float. And the third case is when the mass density of the fluid is equal to the mass density of me. If this is true, then I know that the buoyant force is going to equal my weight. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to stay exactly where I am at this container, in this container, in this body of water. So I'm just going to stay right there. I'm not floating, I'm not sinking, I'm not moving up or down, I'm just staying where I'm at. And this case is what we call neutral buoyancy. And this is the cool thing about scuba gear. So scuba divers, if you didn't already know, they can basically adjust the density of themselves to match the density of the water. And that causes them to stay at a particular level. So they have these uh, uh, special belts that they can basically adjust the density inside of those belts. And that essentially allows them to move up or down as they please. So remember, neutral density is when the mass density of the fluid equals the mass density of the object. And then if the mass density of the fluid is greater than the object, then the object floats. If the mass density of the fluid is less than the object, then the object sinks.